Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Steve from graphicdesignertips.com. This is Logo Design Bootcamp and it's episode number seven. Every week, we design another logo for you to learn from based on a letter of the alphabet. And today's letter is a letter G. Okay, so when it comes to inspiration for this episode or every episode, I basically do everything on the fly. I don't have time to plan this stuff out. Uh, life is crazy, responsibilities keep stacking up even more and more. Uh, got a baby on the way, which is great. Uh, as you may have learned last episode, but um, I don't even go to the gym anymore. So I don't have time to do it. You know, I love the gym. It's a good way to stress relief and obviously keep yourself healthy. So I purchased a home gym for my house and it's got everything. It's got the whole shebang. It's got the, uh, the, the, the chest area, the butterflies, the pull downs, the lift ups, the legs, everything. So uh, I'm really pumped about that. I, I still don't even have time to put it together and with the holidays coming out. I don't even know when I'm gonna have time. So uh, basically, I have designed a logo based on the letter G today, which is a gym logo. And uh, it's for what I'm gonna call my basement gym, the Galaxy Gym. And here's my logo right here. Um, and let's critique this a little bit for you so you'll learn a little bit more about how it was put together. Galaxy Gym logo is very simple. It's, uh, we're using impact for the font. Um, and the cool thing about the, the logo is it's basically using all the same uh, circles with the same blue gradient in it. And you'll see that when I build it in a second. But from left to right, we got this blue coming to this lighter blue. And it kind of goes from dark to light over here. It's showing the progression of, uh, and it separates the words. It, it makes it like two different thoughts. So now we're in Adobe Illustrator. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type out the word Galaxy gym all caps and when we select just those three letters and we come to our eyedropper uh, I'm gonna select the colors that I have in these swatches already uh, you're gonna make your own colors up for this tutorial and you need really don't need to make a space there because of the fact that the colors actually separate the word it acts as a space we're gonna come up here to the rounded rectangle tool next and we're gonna make these three little rectangles you're kind of just going to eye them up. You know, you can use the alignment tools to separate them, you know, how you want them to be um, by selecting all three of those and coming to align and hitting center. And we can distribute them evenly, vertically. All right, so those are now all even. And like I said, lots and lots of circles in here. We're going to make a ellipse and ellipse. And we're going to fill it with uh, just a solid blue for now. And now we're going to copy and we're going to uh, command F to copy in front and we're going to make a circle in front. Now we are going to copy this circle because I want to use it later. And I want to select both of these and s subtract that circle from the front by going minus front in the pathfinder. Now, remember a second ago I said we're going to copy the circle user for later? Well, now that circle has gone because I, I subtracted it from the top circle. And now we're going to Command F to bring that circle back. So if I move it, we still have the empty circle behind it. But we're going to put a white stroke on this. And we're going to make that stroke about, you know, I'm very zoomed in. So that's why it's, I'm at 14 points. You may be at three and it looks like that. So we're going to come to our fill and make sure it's none for this. Um, all right. And we're going to copy and paste to the back one more circle. And we're going to select um, this blue, all right? But we're gonna transparent and we're gonna make it like 40%. Now, if you notice in my finalized logo, there's all different types of gradients and that's what you're gonna have to pretty much work on yourself. Um, and you know what, for the purpose of my tutorial, at least I'm going to eye drop this and I'm going to change it to the gradient of my choice. And so it all kind of flows. There we go a little bit. And this guy needs to be sampled by that. All right. So, I mean, you can use greens or reds, whatever you want to do in your own tutorial while you're following me. And now the next thing is we're going to, uh, create these little bars in the back, these little rings. And the way that you do that, very simple. Again, the ellipse tool, make one ellipse, make a second on top, make sure the top and bottom are thicker and the sides are closer together. We're going to select both of these, minus the front, and we're gonna copy and paste in front. 
execute, excuse me, back up, Command Z, copy and paste and back by commit, Command B. We're gonna move this a little bit and we're going to now make it about 50%. And we are going to take both of these, we're going to Command G to group them and we're going to rotate. And now we're gonna copy and paste in front so we have a duplicate. We're gonna take these arrows in the corner, flip it around, hold the shift while you do it. And now we have this whole shape right here. We're gonna Command G to group it as one shape. Lay it on top of here. Actually, we're gonna send it to the back while it's on here. And you get some kind of cool effect there. Scale this a little bit. So we're gonna scale it completely. There we go. All right, now you're gonna see some of these points hanging out for the purpose of the tutorial. Just use your direct selection, pull those points in. The reason I say do that is because if the client doesn't like it, you wasted all that time using the Pathfinder later on to really refine and, and clean it up. So you don't wanna be doing that. Um, we're going to now create these three little orbs up here. Again, three circles with that gradient in it. We got one. We got two, option sh click shift, and we're gonna make this one a little smaller. All right, um, next thing is we're going to create this shape in the back, and we do that easily by, um, you know, we can actually, we can hold shift while you're doing this so the points will stay in line. Uh, make a point there, make a point there, make one in the middle, point there, and a point there. Now, we're going to hit, <clears throat> hit the A, we're gonna pull that middle point up on the direct selection, and we're gonna come here to our pen, our convert anchor point tool. Going to pull this out, and we're gonna come back to our pen, hit the letter P, and we're gonna finish up this shape by clicking this little shape out here. All right, so now we got our shape. You can refine it later with these little corners by hitting the anchor tool. Convert anchor tool, and like so, all right. And we're going to select this shape and this shape back here, this one and this one, and we're gonna hit object, arrange, send to back. And we gotta send this to back also, so it's behind there again. All right, cool. And so now we're gonna create a box on top of this. We're gonna kinda cut this out a little bit. Like I said, later on, after the client approves, that's when you can refine everything. Right now, we're just gonna hide things. Hide things, all right. So, now we're gonna move this on top. Make sure you send it to the front so it's on top of that white box we just made. Nice. Almost, almost there. All right. Move these things up. Oop, I'm moving the box too. We're gonna make a circle for the head here. And actually, I gotta pull this point up a little bit more. And like I said, you can refine, you know, I'm just kind of doing this real quick so this tutorial is not two hours. And you see how on this on this arm there's an arc on the top of the arms and there's arc on the bottom of the arms. So the way that I'm gonna do this is really simple, is I'm gonna make another ellipse and I'm going to Command C, Command B behind, and I'm gonna nudge it down. This is the second ellipse. I'm just making the shape so it's a perfect arc. And we're gonna select both of these by hitting Shift and while clicking them both at the same time and minusing, ooh, let's see, the front, there we go. And now we can fill that with white. We got a little shape right there. Move that over a little bit. And the last shape with the pen tool, we're gonna to make just the torso. This is a big guy with a little head. Uh, there we go. Much better. Move galaxy to the front. And then we are cool on that. So that's really it. Pretty simple logo here. Hey, so thanks again for joining us for another episode of Logo Design Bootcamp. I hope you learned something. I hope all these things are helping you. Uh, we got a lot of episodes to go. So uh, any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them below. Uh, definitely subscribe to our channel. 
and uh, find us on Twitter and, and, and Facebook. And uh, like this video. Liking this video helps us get out there more. So um, that's it, everybody. Have a good night. I'm Steve Looney from graphicdesignertips.com. Peace.